Jesus knew that the ministry that was before him required something greater than what he already had. And he, watch this, he decreased in order to increase in the anointing. In order to increase in his purpose. He was more hungry for the purpose than he was the pleasure. And when that happens, when you are more hungry for the purpose than you are the pleasure, you will live and operate in power. God is wanting us to be more hungry for the purpose than they do the pleasure. Because what he is wanting us to do is to operate in power. There is enough people hungry, more hungry for pleasure than purpose. And they abandon the power. And yes, they're going up there and they're doing their thing and they have skill but no anointing. They've learned the skill of this. They learn how to pretend. They, they've learned this, this they, as, as is an uh, art. But I'm telling you, you know the difference between a person who is skilled or has charisma and someone who has the anointing. People with charisma, it makes everybody hype. It, it gets them all in their, their feelings and, and, and their emotion. But when you have the anointing, it causes you to reflect on your life. Come to a place of brokenness and total surrender and say, God, I only want you and anything in me. Take it out and kill it. This is what he wants. People that are hungry for purpose more than they are for pleasure. And then the power comes. Then the anointing comes. Then deliverance happens. Listen, you have a job and you go to it every day. And hear me, you have to look at your job as it being a divine assignment because somebody on that job need power. Jesus said, bring the kingdom down to the earth. He is saying, I want people to experience my power power but you gotta get unhungry for pleasure and hungry for purpose